Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. Today I'm answering questions from Google about dive knives. Arguably one of the most important pieces of a scuba diver's equipment in their kit bag, a dive knife can really get you out of a lot of problems. So let's jump straight in and answer some questions. What is the main use of a dive knife? The primary use of a dive knife is to cut through obstacles. It's a knife. Underwater you only have a limited amount of time so the worst thing that could happen to you is to get tangled up in something and then not be able to free yourself and get back to the surface. Ropes and other lines underwater can be quite evil because their buoyancy can mean that they drift up and they tangle around you and your equipment and often the quickest way to free yourself is to cut yourself free. Discarded fishing lines and nets called ghost gear are the most dangerous for divers. It's literally designed to catch things underwater and some fishing gear is practically invisible in the water and of course it's made to not break unless under a lot of force so a dive knife is usually the best way to free yourself and get back to the surface the soonest. Otherwise cutting through equipment in an incident uh, or just as a knife really. I mean, I've used to want to sharpen a pencil underwater before, just use it as a tool, but dive knives really are tools for safety. We don't have a knife wars like in Bond movies or end up stabbing sharks or anything. That's kind of the opposite of what dive knives are for. Why do diving knives have blunt tips? Following on from the previous point really, what's the point of a pointed tip? It's to pierce through into something. It's quite rare that we actually need to pierce through something on a dive, so there's no real reason for a pointed tip. More often than not, that pointed tip ends up puncturing your own equipment when you go to put the knife away, and the point ends up doing more damage than it's worth. And when you're wearing a knife on your BCD or on your leg, you don't want to be puncturing either of those. The blunt tip just makes the knife a little bit safer. Um, you're less likely to puncture something you don't mean to. And when you're wearing thick gloves, you're floating mid water, you've got nothing to sort of hold yourself down. You're not really the most precise with something pointy. While it's definitely not what they're meant for and not really covered by the warranty at all if you break it by using it this way, that flat tip can actually be used in an emergency as an emergency screwdriver or even a pry. It's really not what they're made for, blunt tip knives, but in a life or death situation, it might help you out. But a blunt tip is just so that we don't cut ourselves or our own equipment. I mean, we like our gear, it's, it's expensive. Can you use any knife as a dive knife? Uh, short term, yeah. Um, I wouldn't bother bringing like a butter knife down with me or anything, but any knife will do for short term. The, the problem that you'll find is that the metal that they might be made from probably won't be marine grade, so there's a pretty high chance it's gonna rust. Most of our dive knives are 316 or 304 stainless steel that resist rust underwater, especially in marine environments, and they're designed to be used either with thick gloves or with wet hands as well, so the handles will be different as well. Depending on what you're cutting through, your best bet is usually something with a serrated edge, especially thicker obstacles so that you can saw through it. A lot of commercial dive knives are literally just bread knives basically, um, but they tend to spend a lot of time sawing through things. For most scuba divers though, your toughest obstacle is usually gonna be an odd bit of fishing line or some kelp maybe if you're diving that area. So a traditional dive knife or a line cutter is really best and the most efficient for recreational diving. Look for something with a marine grade metal and handle as well that's designed to be used when it's wet so that your hand doesn't slip when you're using it in, in the water. Where is the best place to put a dive knife? You should put your dive knife wherever you can reach it. The most common places tend to be around your waist, attached to your BCD, uh, on your dive computer strap on your wrist and on your leg, usually on the inside of your calf, so it's less likely to catch on something if you, when you swim past it. A lot of divers carry more than one cutting device as well because sure you can reach that knife on your leg with your right hand, but what happens when your right hand is the thing that's caught up in something? 
just spend a little time out of the water to just make sure that you can reach at least one cutting device with each hand and think about a few different scenarios as well. For me, I prefer somewhere around the torso. You can usually reach something on your waist with either hand and a small uh, line cutter on, my, uh, on the strap of my dive computer. It's something I always dive with, my dive computer, I always come, it always comes with me. So it's a really convenient place to, um, uh, to reach and there's a low chance of me forgetting it. So yeah, and also it's in front of you. So you can see exactly what you're doing when you're uh, sort of putting it away and I'm far less likely to cut myself accidentally Accidentally. How big should a dive knife be? Small. Um, whilst you can still get hold of the huge dive knives, uh, for what most scuba divers are going to need it for, they're really overkill now. And some areas actually don't let you take huge Rambo style knives with you, um, so they'll take them off you for the holiday, but they're, they're usually good with a line cutter. Um, it's, it's a safety device, whereas a Rambo knife is a bit excessive. Unless you're specifically going on a dive to like collect ghost gear or something, or you're diving in an area that's known for a lot of entanglements, a small line cutter or a small compact dive knife with a blade that's maybe an inch or two long is more than enough. If you're planning on carrying more than one, then try and get a range so that in the water you can select the best tool for the job at hand. If you come across some fishing line, a line cutter. If you need to cut through some webbing, safety shears. Uh, if there's a large amount of tangled netting or a thicker rope, then you'll want a serrated blade. But for a standard recreational dive, only an inch or two, that should get you out of most problems that you're likely to encounter. And that's all for today. Uh, if you have any questions about dive knives or cutting devices, let me know down in the comments below. I'll put a link in the description to the cutting devices on our simplyscuba.com website. Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.